Le Tapis is an ideal teaching location for the arts and architecture and photography. Over the last 42 years, I've restored this hamlet into an artist community. And my dream was always to have students from all over the world come and work here in this land of beauty and impression and of wonderful, wonderful settings. Welcome to Le Tapis. We're sitting here in the printmaking studio uh, in a building which is um, 16th, 17th century. We have students working all around me here in the print studio. We have students painting. We have students drawing. Drawing and painting involves many levels. We work with up to about 20 different media, dry media, wet media, we are involved with working outdoors, indoors. We work in the traditional French plein air tradition, working with oil paint, acrylic paint, outdoors, indoors. We work with portraiture as well as landscape. We deal with the still life. We work with all the great genres that art history has given us. And in fact, art history becomes the linking thread throughout what we do here at Les Tapis. We try to give everyone a sense uh, of the continuity of the, tr the traditions of art. I found out about Le Tapis six months ago, and I had really high expectations about it since I had read about it in the website, and my parents kept telling me to not get my hopes up because it might not be as good as he thought, but they were dead wrong. When I came here, it was so much better than I expected. I've experimented with so many different types of media and I've learned so much and this place is just incredible. It's an isolate, isolated community of artists in which everyone understands each other no matter what nationality they're from or what religion they have. So I'm um, a multitasker and kind of teaching assistant here at Le Tapis. I work with drawing and painting and I teach art history. I'm also um, a dancer and I teach some movement sessions that we have in the evenings with students. Uh, besides that, I am also the life model for when we have our life drawing sessions with our drawing and painting students and also photography students will sometimes join us. The special thing for me at Le Tapis is that it is this space that allows you to take yourself out of your normal routine, your normal commitments, all, everything in our normal lives that keep us busy and occupied. And it's a space that we can just together think about expanding our creative practices and learning new things. Playtap is a special place of community, of anything else. It's not a camp. It's not a pre-college program. We're a community of artists. And yes, we're art teachers, but I think the thing that makes us different is we're teaching artists and we're doing our work and doing our trade. We're painting and drawing alongside our students. We're not just telling them what to do. We're mentoring and showing them how to do it and how to be artists in today's community. Le Tapis program is a wonderful program for kids, for students aged 13 to 18. Not only are we in a wonderful setting in the Ardèche Mountains of southern France, but the students are here, they come here for a specific reason, because they have a passion, they have a passion for art. We go back to the basics, shooting film, uh, and plain DSR cameras, nothing automatic. You learn f-stops, shutters, film speeds, basic camera controls. And rather than shoot a smartphone or a DSLR with digital, which the, the camera is in control. When we go to this kind of uh, camera, you learn to be in control, not the camera. And behind me is our basic uh, film and printing lab. It's amazing being way up here in the mountains. We really do have a full-fledged film lab and print lab and it's uh it's amazing because there's nothing else around us here a 
I'm gonna start off that I discovered a lot about myself during this program. Uh, I discovered a lot about my style uh, because of all the work that I have produced in three weeks, I was able to look at everything that I've done and see that there are similarities in everything that I make, which I had not realized before until I came here. painting an art major and architecture. Most of the students that, that I teach have not had architectural experience. They've had some design experience, but not necessarily in architecture. So I have a wonderful opportunity to mold these students in a real life situation where real buildings, they're designing what exist, and then they get to add a whole nother building to this hamlet, which is surrounded by wonderful, wonderful landscape and views looking down to the Rhone Valley and off into the distance into the French Alps. So in the architecture program, we work mainly on two uh, pro uh, projects in particular. Um, the first one was working on the Shallon Cone Kitchen, um, which um, is a family uh, that lives quite close to Le Tapi, um, and they have kind of a uh, worn down shack and we went out and measured the site, measured different distances around the building and then each of us worked in pairs to design an outdoor kitchen for them to use um, and presented the designs to them. I chose art history because I already had art history in school but in school they rush through it and there's in school the, the grade is what matters the most. But here I can like take my time and really understand the history of art. We basically built, it's really fun because we made a floor down in the bed oven because it was wood before and it was starting to rot. So we laid cement and we put stones in and it looks very good now. Up there by the road, we also made a new floor and we made a small terrace to sit around because there's a lot of places here where you can just sit around and relax. The trips are really good because we visit places inside the cities or in the places like abbeys or churches and at the same time we have lots of free time so to hang around, to visit the city in itself and just to see the places. Activities in free time, well, they're very, very varied because you can relax, hang out with people, swim in the pool, but you can also keep working on your work and increase your skills. Food. <laughs> uh, it wasn't what I expected because uh, it's definitely authentic homemade food. There are great meals here. They're all home cooked. It's really amazing and they're really accommodating. It's so good. I would come here just for the food. With uh, Late Tab B being in such a remote location, we uh, it's quite difficult to have to use kind of, you know, local produce, you know, the local butchers, the local bakeries, the local kind of fruit and veg people. At the same time though, we kind of try to create a diverse and kind of, you know, a different menu each night to kind of keep things interesting. We, we also have a, a small vegetable garden, which uh, we kind of supplement our, um, other, you know, our main shops with. So it has different um, local vegetables, lettuce and tomatoes and things, which, you know, it's really nice to say to the kids, you know, that we have, you know, we picked this this morning, they're eating it for dinner that same day. 